Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to a new video. My name is Huey Place, and uh, this video is going to be a short tutorial on how to hopefully connect the original Xbox One wireless controller to Windows 10 so you can play games on Steam, good old games, like anything you want. And it's not strictly for the like original Xbox One controller, but it's the one I have and I've struggled with, so hopefully today... I can show you some uh, tips and, you know, get it working because I went nuts trying to uh, figure it out. And I'll show you some of the things that I went through to try and uh, get it working. So, uh, you know, I was looking up videos, like fixing the drivers. So I went uh, to devices and printers. I don't remember which one. Yeah, here I was like, all right, we'll uh, see how it goes. Right click on properties. Hardware properties, uh, then you go change settings, and you go to power management, and in the video it says to turn these off, which I did, I restarted the computer, hoping it would work, it did not, and uh, don't mind that they're ticked now, because I've got it working, and uh, you'll see in the end, because uh, I'll show you a video from my perspective, you get to see my little setup for the first time, but uh I digress, uh, so they're ticked for now, but you can try that to see if it works. Like hopefully the first step just works, you don't need to go to the last thing I'll show you. But uh, that's one way, one method that I did, did not work. Uh, so I was like, all right, what's the next one? So I went to the official Xbox support page. I was like, you know, the Xbox wireless adapter, that's its official name uh, when it connects to the USB. Uh, so like the controller won't connect because like the actual adapter itself was like flashing so it was working and it was coming up in the corner here like new device detected all that jazz uh, but the controller just was not syncing to it it was just flashing like looking to be synced but was just not happening uh, so I was like all right what's it say I'm sure you're within range pretty self-explanatory but I put it right up against it was not working uh, you know, I was doing obvious things like holding the pair button. I tried doing it on the Xbox controller first. I did the adapter. I uh, changed it up, but at the same time, it was just not happening. And I tried for two hours just researching, like just going down a rabbit hole, right? Just <laughs> going to all these sites. So I was like, all right, how do you set it up according to Xbox here? And, uh, I've got Windows 10, by the way. Uh, I'm assuming ele Windows 11 will work as well. Um, so I was like, okay, we've got, got a new thing here. It was, um, uh, you'll be familiar with the process, yada, yada. So it's like, turn on your controller and press and hold the Xbox button. It will flash. Then do the pair thing, which, well, that was the last thing. So I was like... It was just not coming up with something that would work. So I just I kept trawling through. I was going through forum posts, you know. The last update a few days ago, apparently. So someone's like, the controller was not connecting. All other USB devices worked fine, same as me. Because uh, I've got seven USBs on the port hub kind of thing. You'll see in the video at the end. And I tried different ports as well. I did the first one, the second, the third. You get the point. It was not working. As you can see, a couple hundred people have the same thing. So in the car here, he uh, he's using the Xbox One controller, which I am. Uh, so, you know, I did this. This was a new thing. I was thinking, okay, this might help. So Windows X, I've already got it all up. Uh, but just follow that. And it'll take you to Device Manager. And uh, what you do is you go to view, show hidden devices, and uh, it comes up with the universal serial bus controllers. Wait a minute. I just had an absolute epiphany. <laughs> That's what USB stands for. Universal serial bus. Oh, my goodness. All right. Uh, <laughs> All right, we're getting sidetracked here. Um well, today I learned that's what USB stands for. But anyway, you go to that section, and um, I've already done it. But when I first did that at the time, there was a grayed out uh, USB thing. So I um, I did what I said. I right clicked, 
I uninstalled, I restarted, and it seemed to relate to the USB hub thing that I've got. So I was like, oh, maybe this time it will work. Restarted it, but you know the drill. It was not working. So I was like, all right, that's no go. What else? So this one's like, go to uh, go to the run program, do uh, dev management, I think, so it stands for. I've already done it. I've got it up here. It's the same thing, device manager, but it's for a separate part. Go to network adapters, and you go to the wireless adapter here. Right-click on our properties, and it should come up with power management. So, again, it can, with the first thing I showed you, it says to allow this device to wake the computer. So I turned that off, but turned this one on. Because when you turn this off, it automatically grays that out. But I like reversed it and did turn that off, but turn that on. Oh, no, sorry, I turned that on and left that off. And I did all that, restarted it, all that fun stuff. Did not work. Uh, then I did this as well. I uninstalled the driver software. Uh, yeah, did not work. <laughs> so I was like, this should not be this difficult. So I kept going, I kept going. This one was uh, installing the latest driver. So, you know, you go to the network adapter thing again. Uh, and in the same settings, you go update driver. It's all there. But mine was already updated to the latest. So I was like, oh, it can't be that, can it? Uh, and then this one's like sync the controller with your adapter. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm having trouble with, right? So I ignore that. And here we go. The power settings again. Um, you know, I unchecked that. And uh, again, it would not work. And again, we kept going. Uh, and you'll see in the video later on, but I've got the original Xbox One controller. Does not have Bluetooth because I'm sure all of this would have been averted if I had a newer version, which clearly has Bluetooth built in. Because I've got like the separate plastic thing here. I think that one's built in. I actually don't know. I haven't seen one of those. Because uh, mine's 2015, I believe. So, no, eight years old, but still works. So, unfortunately, it doesn't have Bluetooth. So, I. Uh, didn't have a wire, so I couldn't see if it worked. I'm assuming it would have. Um, didn't have to worry about that. Don't have Bluetooth. So I was like, "Oh, what can I do? Like, what is missing?" And I was thinking, it has to be something simple. Uh, and this is how to connect the Steam, which I didn't have to worry about because once it's connected to a wireless adapter for Windows, which you'll see in the video, it will. You don't have to do it, it automatically configures it. So, I stumbled upon this Steam guide, and thank you very much, Polly. It was done eight years ago, but it, it worked for me. So, what I did, I already had the newest update here, but I'll just give you an example anyway. Um... Uh, this did not come up for me when I checked it. <laughs> it has to be open with Internet Explorer. Uh, okay, I think I did it for Edge. Let me just uh, quickly check here. Um, Control X. Okay, it doesn't really... Okay, that's strange, because I did it the other day, and... It did not come up with that, but normally it comes up with like, as it says here, 13 results. You just do what it says, um, search for Xbox Wireless, and uh, you get the latest um, adapter driver. So that's what we already did in the uh, device manager section. So I skipped that section. I probably should have read this, right? Skip uh, step six and seven, continue with step eight. So, I, oh, yeah. where was it? Sorry, I'm getting uh, lost myself. Okay, that's for the driver itself. But I did see the solution, someone replied. Sorry, just bear with me, I should have already got it up. Um, 
Here we go, yes. So this is the one that helped. Yep, dude, you're a lifesaver. Absolutely. This person, uh, thank you so much because, or did, you know, just everyone in this thread, honestly. But I did download the Xbox accessories app from the store there. It pretty much allows you to configure the firmware and remapping the controller, which I didn't have to do. However, I did that anyway. But what worked for me was going to settings. Let me just whip it out here. Let me get that to that side. So I uh, followed it. Uh, I uh, went to settings. I went to update and security. I went to check for updates. So I don't have Windows 11. Um, but what I did, I checked for updates. Now, I did this a few days ago, so it's probably not going to come up. But if you're having this problem and you, it's still not working, I implore you to go to here. Because... As it says here, um, it says scroll for it, but it was the only update that come up because I checked for updates and this was the exact thing that come up. For some weird reason, Windows does not automatically install this specific driver from six years ago. Yeah, it says I'm up to date because uh, I've already done it. But for you guys, uh, check for updates and it should come up like in here with this and if it does download it asap <laughs> honestly it and then it resets uh, restarts the computer and wouldn't you know it it works and i was like hallelujah like two hours later you know for an optional update that you would think would be automatically installed it was not but no doing this it really helped and you saw like what i did well, I went through with all the tabs and there was more, um, but I just did the ones that would be relevant. And it was a solid two, two and a half hours of just going down rabbit holes. And I was like, oh, I shouldn't have spent money on that wireless adapter because it's not going to work. Uh, but persevered, found this guide. Thank you very much to whoever did this. Yeah, people saying this is the only thing that worked. Dude, you're a lifesaver. Only thing that worked. Bless your heart. Absolutely agree. And it works. And you'll see in the video uh, at the end of the video. But if that does not help, then I'm afraid I cannot help you because I am not a tech expert. But I just thought I would compile this little video just to show you what I went through and to just show you some steps along the way that could help. If it does, you know... I'm just glad I can help out, um, you know, leave a like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, but uh, enjoy the video at the end where I'll show you it working, uh, well, the controller working, but I hope you have a great day, this has been Huey Plays, and I'll see you in the next one, cheers. Hello everyone, so if you follow the instructions in the video, you'll hopefully get to a point where this bad boy wireless adapter the light is on and this is now on and uh as you know i was saying that the light was flickering on and off so i was trying to connect it was not but uh you can see it's working and uh i'll just show you that it is working uh you can see like x available now upgrade anniversary and I'm, uh, let me swap hands here. I'm going down and up. It is working. And to prove it is on PC, I'll shift tab. And it is on Steam. So it does work. And I hope any of the strategies uh, in the video worked. But I uh, hope you have a great day. It's been Huey Plays. Cheers.